Right, uh, once again looking at a Cam's question, and this time again, quite a strange one came up, uh, you wouldn't be used to looking at it. This time we're looking at um, the Cam itself being drawn as uh, an involute. So if you look at the diagram down here, the majority of the Cam can be drawn by just drawing arcs that are kind of uh, tangential to each other, and radiuses are given for all of those. The one thing to watch out for is uh, the dimension from A to B, as you can see here on the top left, is an involute of this circle here, radius 18. Now involute is quite straightforward to do. Um, slightly different, don't mix it up with the arc median spiral. They are two different things and two different drawings, so uh, the examiner will be looking out for that, you know the difference. An involute is basically where you unwrap a circle. So it's going to increase in size as it goes out. A is the starting point and B is the last point. So you can see that's kind of going further away from the center point as it arcs out and it's unfolding itself. The breakdown of the question, I've drawn up to that point. So the, all the right hand side of the drawing was just done with arcs and likewise in here. Now I'm going to focus in on the left hand side of that circle. I've broken it up into six segments. So that's the first step when you're doing an involute of a circle, you break it up into segments. The reason I've only broken it up into six is because you're only dealing with half the circle rather than 12. And the reason you're only dealing with half the circle is because you're only going from A to B. If you were going the whole way around, you'd be dealing with the full circle. But it's only A to B in this case. Also, when you're talking about an involute, what you do is you break it up into segments and then you go tangential to those segments. So you make a perpendicular line to it basically. So what I mean by that, if I focus here on the first segment, and there, 60 degree angle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot out 90 degrees against that at the point on the perimeter of the circle. So you can just turn your set square around and go out at 90 degrees, like so. If I look at the next one, it's a 30 degree line, so I'll shoot out 90 degrees to that. The third segment is a horizontal line, so 90 degrees to that will be vertical. The fourth one, again, go perpendicular to that angle, going outwards. And the fifth one. And then finally, the sixth one is where B is located out here. So that's why I know that's where to stop. So I'm only doing six segments. Now, what I do is. It's broken up into six segments. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure the circumference of one of those segments, get the outside measurement. Now we're going to go to the first tangent line that we did, and we're going to mark off one segment because that's the first piece of unfolding. On the second one, we're going to mark off two segments. On the third one, we're going to mark off three. Four segments on the fourth line, five on the fifth and finally when you get down to the last line you'll be marking off six segments and that will find point B for you. So the best way of explaining this really is if you could imagine a piece of string being wrapped around that circle. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Imagine a piece of string being wrapped around that circle starting here wrapping around and what you do is you start to unfold that string. So when you would pull it out to that point, it would be that long. When you pull it out to that point, it would be that long, and so on. So it's increasing in length as it goes around. You go to the outer point on each of your tangents, and you sketch that in as smoothly as you can to get your curve. And that's known as an involute. So that came up uh, in 2013 as part of the CAMS question. The rest of the CAM then is quite straightforward drawing, just using circles and tangents, I won't bother doing it. But that's the involute for this question.